everyone and welcome back to English with Lucy. I missed you guys. <laughs> I've just come back from a lovely holiday. Well, lovely in the sense that it was nice to get away, but I did go to Cornwall with my family and it was very rainy, it was very cloudy, it was very, very English. <laughs> I'm back now with another really exciting advanced pronunciation video. This video is going to show you how you can speak more quickly and it's also going to help you sound more like a native speaker. So it's a really, really important one. Before we get started, I'd just like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Lingoda. This video is going to help you with your speaking and your listening, but if you want to take it a step further, why not try Lingoda? I've done a full review video, which you can look at by clicking up here. But basically, it's an online language academy. You sign up on a monthly subscription basis and you get a mixture of group and private lessons, all done over video chat with real native teachers. It's an excellent service that I completely endorse and it can be much more efficient and cost effective than going to a traditional language school. They've given me a special discount for you guys. You can get 50 euros or $50 off your first month at Lingoda. All you have to do is click on the link in the description box and use the code down there. All you have to do is sign up using the code and the link which is in the description box. Right, let's get started with today's video. So today we're going to be talking about connected speech. Connected speech. There are four topics which we are going to cover. Catenation, intrusion, elision and assimilation. Now that probably sounds really complicated. I don't like making English too theoretical, but I think it's important that you recognise these terms. I'm going to do a brief summary of each topic and then some examples for you to practice with and then you can apply them to your daily speaking practice. Let's go! The first one, catenation, also referred to as linking. This is when a consonant sound at the end of one word is carried over to connect with the vowel sound at the beginning of the next word. In simple terms, an apple, an apple. Catenation is really, really important if you don't want to sound like a robot. Quite a lot of my students sound like this, when they should be sounding like this. And this is because they're not using catenation correctly. Which sounds better? An apple or an apple? So as I said before, the consonant at the end of the first word is carried over to connect with the vowel sound at the beginning of the next word. An apple. N. The n is carried over and the two words are squashed together. Some other examples. It isn't. I don't say it isn't nice. I say it isn't nice. Now it might seem like this takes a lot of effort to do at first, but once your brain gets used to it, you will find it. Mm, it will come to you naturally. Now the next topic I want to talk about is intrusion. Intrusion. Now intrusion is when an extra sound intrudes to make it easier to flow between two vowel sounds. Now the three most common sounds that tend to intrude between vowel sounds are y, w, and r. Let's talk about y first. Look at this sentence. We all play out. We all play out. E vowel sounds are often followed by the y sound. So words that end in e that are then followed by another word beginning with a vowel sound have the y intrusion. We all play out. Words that end in u have the w. So you can think about it like this. If your mouth is wide, e, a, it's a y sound. If your mouth is round, u, o, then it's a w sound. I go out to open the window. Go, o, go out. U, two, two obstacles. Then we have the last common intrusion, which is the er sound. Look at these words. There is. 
there is. Better alone. Better alone. So British English is non-rhotic which means that we don't pronounce the R's at the end of words. I do have a video all about the schwa sound at the end of words, which you can see by clicking up here. So intrusion is a really, really important thing to think about if you want to speak more quickly and in a more connected way. I'd like to invite you to write in the comments any sentences that have intrusion in them. Okay, topic number three, elision. Elision is the loss of a phoneme, a sound. Normally it's the t or d sound that is lost and normally it's the last phoneme of a word. For example, next door. I would never say I'm going next door. I would always say I'm going next door. So I've missed out the t sound, next door. Not next door, next door. Or most common, most common most common. Finally, we have number four, which is assimilation. Assimilation. This is similar to elision, but instead of a phoneme being dropped, two phonemes come together and change into a new phoneme, a new sound. So for example, t and y together make a ch sound. When I'm speaking quickly in conversation, I wouldn't say, I'll meet you there. I'd say, I'll meet you there, meet you. So t and y, meet you, becomes meet you, meet you. It's not just two words coming together either. It can happen in one word, like picture. <laughs> we don't say picture, unless we're very posh, we say picture, picture. Or instead of Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday. Another example is d and y. D and y together make j, j. Instead of saying did you, did you, I say did you, did you. Right, that's it for the advanced pronunciation lesson. If any of these topics have really interested you and you'd like a more in-depth lesson, please do comment below on which topic is the most interesting and I'll try and make a more in-depth video about it. But in this video, I kind of just wanted you to be aware of this so you can think about it whilst you speak. It's highly likely that connected speech exists in your language as well and um, there are similar pronunciation features. Don't forget to connect with me on all of my social media. I've got my Facebook, my Instagram, and my Twitter. And I will see you soon for another lesson. Mwah.